Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, today is the day. It is day one of the TCKA National Championship on Santee Cooper. I've been out here since a little after 6 a.m. this morning, but I held off on filming the intro to this video because the wind was so dang bad this morning. I mean, it was absolutely kicking out here. It was like 15 miles an hour sustained with 25 mile an hour gusts. And you know how it is trying to film a video with the audio and the wind blowing into it. It's just unbearable. But the wind started to slack off now. And so I'm going to knock out this intro, but what I did is I come out here this morning, launched in this canal here, and this canal comes all the way out around and loops around. Off over here is a, that's basically a big flat, got stumps, cypress stumps all over it. And so this area I'm fishing is like five feet deep. Now, when I came out here to Santee Cooper, I had planned. And I was going to fish like I fish at home on the Tennessee River, like you all see in my videos, targeting deep structure. And I've spent a better part of two days now trying to force my will on this place. And uh, it just ain't happening for me. I just can't fish how I like to fish out here. And people told me that coming out here. They said, no, two to five feet, Justin, two to five feet. You got to fish shallow out here. And I'm like, watch me catch them deep. Well, guess what? I can't catch them deep out here. And, and a day like today where the wind was cranking earlier, I can't get out there in the, in the main lake and, and fight those waves here. This area here is kind of protected. I mean, yeah, it's open and the wind's blowing in, but because you got that big flat over there with all in stumps kind of blocking everything, the wind was coming in hard, but you wasn't having the big rollers like you're going to get out on the main lake where it's just wide open. So I knew out there on the main lake I wouldn't be able to fight it. But this spot here, this is actually Brandon Jackson's spot. Now Brandon is the guy, he hooked me up with bait for this for this trip here, at least first couple days. I met him on Tuesday night on my way over here and he went out and caught me uh, some gizzard shad and so I've used those the last couple days uh, pre-fishing out here. And he told me about this spot and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to fish deep, you know. He's like, no, no, you got to fish this spot. They're, in the, they're shallow out here. So like, what the hell, you know, I ain't got nothing to lose. I hadn't done worth the crap. So I came out here yesterday morning, give it a shot. And I caught the only fish I caught pre-fishing, and it was over 44 inches. I mean, it was a tank. So I said, well, I'm going to leave. I just left right after that fish, so I'm going to save it and come back here tomorrow. And it has paid off. Uh, a little about an hour and a half uh, out here this morning, I hooked into the first fish. All right, y'all, we got one on right here now. Fish on. Fish on. This wind is cranking, so probably getting a lot of wind noise on the camera. All I can do is say I'm sorry. I can't change it. I'm excited about having a fish so I wasn't sure if we was going to hook up today or not with this cold front coming through. It is cold out here. And that wind is cranking, man. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. Look at him. That's a good one. Heck yeah, man. We hooked up. Ain't no skunk today if I can get him in. Come on, Mr. Blue Cat, get in here. I think he's got my other line here, maybe. Let me go around that line. Had to get creative here, y'all, with my line just because this dang wind, I can't get out in the kayak. I'm having to fish the shore, basically. I do bank fishing out here. Woo! That one ate the white perch, y'all. All right, guys, let's get him back in the water here. Take off for me, Mr. Blue Cat. Take off for me. That's a 42 inch fish, guys. There he goes. He's swimming off. Woo! 42 inch blue to start my morning. I'm feeling much more confident now. This wind is something else, but I've set up right here because it's blowing into this area. So, you know, even though it's really shallow and I don't like fishing shallow water, that's where these fish are at, even with this cold front coming through. But I was hoping with the wind coming in here, any bait in this area would hopefully congregate in here and bring in some fish. So. Got us one. Then a uh, couple hours went by, got another one. I don't think I had 
action here on this rod. Pick up on him and see. Yeah, he's on there. This wind, guys, again, I'm sorry about the wind noise, but it's just relentless out here. 25 mile an hour gusts. Gonna be that way all morning till mid afternoon. I don't know, did he come off? Did he come off? Or is he just coming at me? I can't tell. I can't tell. No, he's still on there. He was coming right at me. That's the second fish on the white perch, y'all. Look at that, buddy. That's a tank. Is that camera even rolling? Yeah. That's a tank right there, man. That's what I need to win this thing. That one ate the white perch. Both the fish I've caught this morning ate the white perch. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's a Santee Cooper blue cat right there. I got a chance of winning this thing if I get some more like this. Let me get these pictures of him. Alright y'all, there he is. 40 and a half inches. It's my second one over 40 inches this morning. I'm in good shape for this tournament. Let's let him go. There he goes. This water's shallow. It's hard to get him out of here. How you going? Then another couple more hours went by. I got another bite. We got another one. I'm having to navigate over and under these lines. Ooh, that's pulling some drag now, man. Y'all, I got another known. He feels pretty good. Again, I apologize for the wind noise. I can't do nothing about it on either camera. Man, look at that drag that's run. Look at it. Man, he's pulling. He just keeps taking line. That's another really good one, y'all. Look at that, y'all. That's another dang good fish, man. That finishes out my limit right there. I'm gonna get this a measure. I'm gonna be in good shape. All right, y'all, that fish is 41 inches on the line. That gives me all three of my fish over 40 inches, so I am in great shape right now for this tournament. So let's let this one go and get that bait back out there. There he goes. How you going? The bites has been very limited today. It's about 1.38 p.m. right now. So I've been out here damn near seven hours. But the fish I've got have been great quality. They've all three been over 40 inches. So 
I feel like I'm in good shape right now. Now, I don't know how the rest of the day is going to go. Like I said, it's been about two hours since I had a bite, and the fish I've caught this morning have all been on white perch. Uh, the shad that Brandon had gave me, I still had some of those left. I bought some uh, uh, river or blueback herring, and I bought some frozen mullet out here because I was told those baits work well. And then yesterday, I caught some white perch. But I didn't catch many. I didn't spend a lot of time with it because I had these other baits. And the only fish I've caught out here today, the only bites I've got, they've all come on that white perch. So, and I've burned through the, the perch I had. So I'm going to have to, at some point this afternoon here, go catch me some more white perch. I'm going to spend part of my tournament time doing that. Because I definitely want to be out there with white perch tomorrow if that's what they're hitting. I mean, that's... <laughs> I would have never come out here thinking I'm going to catch fish so shallow. I mean, people told me, Justin, you got to fish shallow, but it just blows my mind that these fish, even a day like today where we've had this big cold front come through and it's still getting them three, four, five feet deep. So uh, I'm going to ride it out in shallow water. You know, uh, I got to adapt. I can't, uh, much as I wanted to force my will on this place, it just ain't happening. So thank God, Brandon talk me into to fishing this area and fishing shallow so we're gonna ride it out and see what happens but i feel like three fish over 40 inches on day one the first half of day one here i feel like i am in good shape right now so let's see if we can keep it up all right guys it's about 3 p.m right now i haven't caught any more fish in a while so i'm gonna reload on some white perch so i've got my ultralight rod here i've got uh 164th ounce jig heads three of them tied on and i've got a one inch berkeley gulp minnow on each one of the jig heads and i'm just going to work my way down this canal here just trolling this uh, homemade sabiki rig here behind me just kind of popping it up and down near the bottom and we'll load up on perch again all right y'all i'm just about done with getting bait i trolled a few hundred yards up here up this uh now here's another one on there and uh just catching them basically as soon as it hits the water and gets down toward bottom and uh, so i trolled up a few hundred yards catching them now i'm just using the wind to drift back and you can see here i'm getting them two and three at a time so i've got enough bait to last me today and tomorrow i figure today will be the day to if i got to spend time catching bait out here on tournament day i might as well load up today after i've already caught my limit of catfish and not have to worry about it tomorrow so you can see here i've got the my drive well here is just full of white perch i got this five gallon bucket i don't know if you can see down in there or not but it's full down in there so i've got uh i don't know probably around 30 or so which should be good should be good for the rest of today and and uh, tomorrow also got a bow fin my first one ever on a jig that's pretty cool but uh, i'm gonna just finish up here get just a few more baits and then we'll get back to doing some catfish all right guys it's about 5 15 p.m right now i've come back down here to the same spot that i was at earlier beached my kayak and doing some more bank fishing here i was going to make a run and go hit another area but the thing about this body of water is it's so big that and this is i'm on lake moultrie today and it's true of lake marion too they're both just so big that when you pull up navionics and you look at something you're like oh i want to go fish there it could be miles away and you don't even realize it just because this body of water is so big so the place i was going to go to was just going to be too far a run i was going to waste too much time getting there and i thought i'll come back here I'll beach myself on the shore and get that white perch out there because that's what all of those fish i called on earlier all of them ate the white perch and then i ran out so i thought well did the fish pull off because this front moved on through or do they just were they there and they just wasn't interested in my other baits you know who knows i guess we'll find out but i'm gonna fish till dark and see if we get some fish move in here and get active again right around sunset here we go guys here we go get the damn camera going oh yeah man i hooked up again here right here it's starting to get dark that rod just buried man that's on a white bass or a white perch head right there that's why i stuck it out right here i just was hoping we get right here around dusk it's going to get some action i don't know how big this one is he feels like another good fish i was just thinking 
about calling it a night, but I thought, you know, I'm going to stick it out here just a little longer. I'd already took the other camera down off the tripod. I pretty much got everything packed up, so once it gets dark, I'm not fooling around in the dark here trying to trying to find stuff. Oh, here's where it gets tricky now. He's over toward my other lines. See what we can do with him here. I've got him close, but man, look at that. He's gonna strip some drag and take off again. When you're catching these big fish in shallow water, I tell you, man, this is something else. These things fight hard. I could get used to this bank fishing. This is my, I think this is my first time ever bank fishing for catfish. I didn't get into catfishing until after I'd already had a boat there in my early 20s so back when I was bank fishing I was just after bass and bluegill and whatever I could catch this has been a lot of fun today I still ain't got a real good look at him he's right there oh yeah guys that's another good fish look at him look at him take back off again oh come here buddy that fish right there y'all look at that fish a hook at. oh yeah that's another whopper man that's another whopper right there Woo! get that hook out i want you to look at that look at that fat thing right there dang i wish i had my other camera set up Whoosh. man that's a good fish y'all let me get my board set up right quick. All right, guys, with the picks there, looks like he's gonna be 45 and a quarter is what he actually measures out at. So, man, I am pumped. I am so glad I stuck it out here a little longer. It has been a long day from like 11 a.m. till whatever time it is now, somewhere around seven o'clock. Nothing, man, nothing. But I got a daggone tank. That's my biggest fish of the day, and that's really gonna put me a real good score going into day two, guys. Let's let this thing go. Oh, yeah. Let's get him back down here. Get him down here in the water. Take on off for me there, buddy. Now you're going the wrong way now. You're going the wrong way. Get back out that way. There you go. Let him catch his breath here. And there he goes. He's taking his time. He's getting out there. Man, you guys don't know how pumped I am. I hope you all can see that. It's getting, it's low light, and my cameras don't always do good in low light, but I'm pumped, y'all. I'm pumped. All right, y'all, it's day two of this tournament. I'm out here and set up. I got out here just before dawn, got lines in the water, and the area I'm fishing, I'm right here at the same spot that I hit yesterday. Uh, got this wind that's still blowing in here to this area. It's not blowing hard today, but I'm hoping it's, enough to kind of keep bait out here in front of me where my lines are and we'll just ride it out here if it ain't broke don't fix it right but uh, i went back to the place i was staying last night got my pictures uploaded i got 128 and a quarter inches which has me in a pretty commanding lead right now i'm 24 inches ahead of the guy in second place uh, from looking at the scores there were several people that got skunked yesterday it was a, a struggle out there for a lot of people but i think me taking advantage of this bank fishing rule uh, that's in the tournament I think that really helped me because that wind was so bad for the first half of the day a lot of those guys were out there fighting the wind and I didn't have to fight the wind at all all I had to do was sit here and just kind of use the wind to my advantage let it kind of you know keep keep bait fish here right in front of me so uh, hopefully it'll continue to work out today but you know I can't I can't have a skunk day today you know them guys got skunked yesterday and it could happen to me today and the guy in second place jesse o'neill team cat nippers uh like i said he's 24 inches behind me right now but you know what if he has a good day and i have an average or bad day he can win this thing uh the other guys i'm far enough ahead of them that if i can put together a, an okay day get me some of those what i call fun size fish back home you know those 32 34 inch fish if i could get me three of those uh, some of those other guys would just be mathematically eliminated yeah i said that 
I don't remember if I said it on this video or if I said it in my live stream last night. Uh, a two-day tournament, you can't win it on the first day, but you can for damn sure lose it. And so I'm happy with my fish yesterday. I've kept myself in contention to win this thing, but I've got to catch some fish today to make it happen. So we'll see how it goes today. How's he on there? He's coming at me. He's coming at me, man. <laughs> He's fishing shallow water, buddy. Can't hardly catch up to him. I mean, they just bolt. I don't think this one's very big, but he's gonna get me on the board. Oh, heck, that ain't even a catfish. Dadgummit. That's one of them old bow fins. Look at that. Well, y'all, got a bow fin. I thought I was getting a skunk out this morning, but wrong species. <laughs> It's the second one I ever caught. The first one I got yesterday on the ultralight while I was catching some white perch. That thing ate a white perch head just then. Stole my bait. It's like a damn channel cat. <laughs> Get on out of here, buddy. All right, y'all. Right here's the bait I've been using the last two days. That's some white perch. I've tried mullet, herring, bluegill, gizzard shad. This right here's been the only thing I can catch them on. So uh, going back to it again today, they're all small. I've been using small baits. So I haven't been able to get any bigger perch, but it's been working. So we'll stick with it. All right, y'all, quick update here. It's about 11 a.m. now. I am still fishless out here this morning and I came out here today with the plan that I was going to ride this spot out and put in all my time out here today. I mean, this is the one spot that I've had any success on out here this week. I got one fish on my two practice days. It came right here, and then I got those four really big fish out here yesterday. But yesterday, three out of those four fish came between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. It's now 11 a.m. today, and I don't have any fish. The other big thing that's changed uh, today out here is just the amount of boat traffic. I mean, yesterday I might have saw three, four boats all day long. I had this place to myself. Today it's just been boats in and out all morning long. And, you know, with this area being so shallow here, I mean, my baits are setting four or five feet deep. I don't know how these fish respond out here. I know there are pe people catch them shallow all the time out here, but how do they respond when boats are constantly motoring in and out? So, uh, I don't know, but I'm kind of losing my confidence out here in this spot. And uh, Jesse O'Neill, who was in second place coming into today, he's already got his limit. And so he's calling fish on day two and it's taking the lead, a pretty big lead over me. So, you know, it's kind of where you start playing mind games with yourself in one of these tournaments. What I'm doing ain't working. And so how long do you ride it out and, and stick with it? So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is pack up and leave. Uh, and I'm gonna make a run get out on the main lake and go hit an area uh, that I wanted to hit before. It's a long run to get out there, but pretty much anywhere I go out here is a long run. I mean, this canal I launched in is about 30 minutes uh, from, the, from the car to get here by kayak. So, you know, to pack up and go all the way back to the car, load up, go to another launch site, uh, it would just cost me too much time today. I'd rather have baits in the water, but I think I'm gonna make a run out here to the main lake so the wind's not bad at all today and hit an area during these midday hours because yesterday even though i was catching fish here those middle day from like 12 to 6 30 ish or so i didn't do any good at all so i think i'm gonna go spend this middle section of the day out there and then come back and hit this area again this evening after hopefully these boats get out of here and maybe i'll have the place to myself again and maybe we'll get some uh, fish after dark come up in here to feed so I think that's the plan for now but uh, right now guys 11 a.m. here on day two feeling like I'm in trouble all right y'all I'm out here working the main channel this is the calmest conditions we've had since we've been out here it's the winds pretty much flat today so I'm just kind of working this channel here see all these marks down here looks like bait hopefully there's some catfish down there under them and uh, Maybe get my bait as it comes along. So 
we'll see how it goes. I'm going to give this a few hours, and then uh, before it gets dark, I'm going to go back down there and set up and get anchored again. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. I marked a pile of fish. And so uh, I said, I was just going to anchor down. I've been out here trolling this channel edge, and I come across that just, like I said, pile of them. I said, I'm going to anchor here and, and set here a minute to see if I can get the skunk out. See if one of them will take. Oh, it's a dang striper. Oh. Wrong species. Got me excited, though. It got me excited. The wrong species. Well, he was fun, but wrong species. I think that's what them boys over there in the boat's looking for. I'm sitting on them, apparently. He gone. Here we go, right here, guys. Here we go. I hope this is a cat and not another striper. Oh, he's pulling hard, I'll tell you that. Whatever he is. Oh, I think he's in my anchor rope, y'all. Boy, that'd be par for the course today, wouldn't it? Lose this fish in my anchor rope. Assuming it is a catfish. Goodness gracious. He's pulling. Sorry about only using one camera, guys. I'm focusing on trying to win this tournament today. I can't be doing all the camera stuff, so we're just going chest cam only. This fish is definitely in my anchor rope. Mm. All right, then. Let's set that down, and we'll pull up that anchor done laps around my dang anchor rope there y'all he's done laps around them but he's what we looking for that's what we looking for that's a good one I hope he don't oh he's going around my anchor rope again doggone oh, what a mess what a mess he ain't done he ain't done but I gotta I gotta try to land him or else he's going to work free on that anchor. I need this fish. I need this and I need him bad. Mm -hmm. You coming in, good buddy. You coming in this here kayak. And you're going to get on the measuring board and get measured because you're a good fish and I needed you bad. I needed you real bad. I've waited all day on you. Whew. Oh, I got the skunk out, y'all. I got the skunk out. That's a pretty good fish. He's probably 30 something inches. All right, y'all, this fish here, I believe is gonna be just shy of 38 inches. I gotta zoom in on the pick here in a minute. Let's let him go. Come on out of here, buddy. <laughs> Let's get two more like that. As I'm just getting my line set. I think I've got one right here, I do. Got one right there. I just got this line out. I did some drifting and some anchoring out in the main channel for a few hours. Got that one nice blue striped bass, but that was all the action I got. And so I've come back to the place I started. I think that might be a bow fin. Oh my gosh, what a letdown. What a letdown, another damn bowfin. I'm over these things. Only the third one I've caught and I'm already over it. <laughs> oh goodness. I think I was gonna get that dang hook out. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. What a letdown, y'all. What a letdown that bowfin was. I just need to finish out my limit. I mean. <laughs> I never thought it'd be so hard to catch a dink and I'd settle for a dink right now. Just can't get it. So I'm back here where I started. I was anchored over there this morning there on the beach. And so I've moved over here to this side because the wind's kind of shifted. It's blowing in this way now. So, uh, oh, look right here. Look right here. Let's hope that ain't a bowfin on there. Let's see what's going on here. I was getting a dink tap or a peck of some kind. Yes, he's on there. He's on there. Please don't be a bowfin. 
Well, it don't matter because he let it go. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least I'm getting action here. I don't know if that was a bow fan or a cat, but I got plenty of bait. And uh, let me see what time it is here. I think it's about 5 o'clock. Yep, 5 o'clock on the dot here, so I'm going to ride it out here till 11.59 tonight. Hopefully we can get some action. Nothing way out there. Look right here, guys. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one right there. That's the one. Man, oh man. Please, I want to land this fish. That is definitely a cat. Or else I've got a state record bow fin one. Oh, is he coming at me or did he drop it? Oh, he's coming at me. Okay. Please be a cat. I just want to land this fish so bad. <laughs> Never thought I'd spend so many hours out on the water and not be able to even catch a dink, but that's how it's been out here, y'all. I ain't caught a dink all four days that I've fished here. Well, if I land this fish, y'all, I'm going to be back in contention to win this thing. I've got braided line on these rocks. I'm not confident I'm going to get him in. He's a good fish. People ask me all the time about mono or braid and I prefer braid for the fishing I do back home, but if I was bank fishing, I'd prefer mono for this very reason. You get up bringing these fish up on shallow, you got these rocks everywhere. I got 80 pound braid, but it ain't no match for a sharp rock on a tight line. Yeah, it's a big cat. That's a really big cat, y'all. It's another really good one. Man, I'm excited about this fish, y'all. Y'all have no idea how bad I want this right here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Didn't knock the camera loose. Oh, he ate that white perch head. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I don't have my other tripod set up, but there he is, 40 and a quarter. I'm back in this thing, baby. I'm back in it. Oh, there's one, everybody. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to do one more update here before the sun goes down and I lose my daylight. I've been on the water now about 12 hours, and I am whooped. And I ain't got much to show for it, just two fish. I mean, the two fish I got are really good, and that's been the whole story out here this week it's limited bites but great quality i mean this is an awesome fishery out here but as far as the tournament goes y'all i'm in trouble i'm in real trouble if i can't get one more stinking fish and at this point i don't care how big i don't care what kind even them dang old channel cats y'all know how bad i hate them things if i could get just one 25 inch channel cat right now it would put me over the moon i'd be so happy but I don't know. It's just going to go down to the wire on this thing. Jesse O'Neill, Team Catnappers, he got his limit early in the day and jumped out to a, a big lead over me. But my two fish that I have got has gotten me ahead of his score, at least as it was last posted. He's got 196 inches uh, last I looked. So I'm about 10 inches ahead of him right now. But if he has upgraded one of his fish throughout the day, he could easily be ahead of me again. The other guy that was in third place coming into the day, he had 80 something inches this morning. But you know, if he went out today and had a day like I did yesterday, he could easily leapfrog me too. So, you know, who knows? I'm just gonna have to just go to 11.59 p.m. tonight when this tournament ends and just try to get something going. Cause you know, I don't know this live leaderboard thing. It's a great idea, but the problem out here is 
none of us have good enough cell service to be able to upload our, our fish. I can get on Tourney X, I can look at the scoreboard, but when I go to upload my fish, can't do it. Same thing with Facebook. I can get on Facebook. I got one bar. That's good enough to get on. I can scroll. I can respond to messages. But if I try uploading, I've been doing like some little video updates or trying to upload them anyway to there. Can't do it. They ain't got the service for it. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? I'm just, I just so frustrated. I'm so happy for the fish I've caught. It's been a great trip out here. I mean, Santee Cooper has just been a awesome trip i mean barring the few setbacks i had on day one just the hotel trouble and the damage to my kayak it's been a great trip out here but the fact i can't get one stinking small dink fish to fish out my limit is just beyond frustrating but uh, you know what regardless of how this tournament turns out uh, it's been an awesome experience and i'm appreciative of, of ron himmelhaver for putting this tournament series on he has worked really hard to make this a success and this event uh this weekend here has been an awesome event there's been some great guys show up and uh it's been a lot of fun oh i was getting a, rod, a hit right there that one rod hopefully that's the dink i need but uh you know regardless of who wins this thing they've earned it out here this between the weather and the conditions we've had whoever wins it they've earned it so uh yeah guys this is probably gonna be the last update here unless there's another fish or until tomorrow morning at the award ceremony and uh again though before i cut this little this little update off i want to say thanks again to brandon jackson hook me up with bait hook me up with this spot Without him, I'm not even in contention to win this tournament right now. So uh, I owe him a lot. Same thing with uh, Bernie Miles. Bernie was kind enough to reach out to me and uh, offered me a, a, a nice donation, which covered a huge part of my expenses for this trip. So Bernie, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I, I, I truly do. And uh, yeah, guys, let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed. Just one channel cat one 25 inch channel cat i'd be so happy let's hope it comes along Down to the final hour, y'all. Coming at me, there he is. Oh, this fish has swam through all my lines, but we're gonna get him, by gosh. We are gonna get him. That's what I need. That's what I need. Oh, come up here, buddy. Oh, that's what I need. That's what I need. Look at that, guys. Got him. We got him. Get the hook out. Buddy, this right here might be what I need. We're going down to the... It's after 10 o'clock right now. We're just in the home stretch of this thing. And I was beginning to think it wasn't going to happen for me. All right, y'all. I don't know if you can see me. We got it. Almost 41 inches. There he is. <laughs> I think I did it, y'all. I think I did it. I think it was the one I needed. But it took almost up to the last minutes. <laughs> hey guys, Ron with Trophy Catfish Kayak Anglers. We're out here at Santee Cooper at PAX Landing, and we're about to announce the top three guys from the TCKA National Championships. Fellas, you want to come on up? Tim Peppers, Jesse O'Neill, and Justin Johnson are the top three right now. And uh, we're going to uh, talk for just a minute about thanking everybody that's helped us out this year. We want to thank New Canoe, for giving us the kayak that we're going to give away to the winter today and we want to thank chubby fish outdoors for believing in us and helping us out this season as well uh, 
All right, we're not going to waste a whole lot of time. I got to drive nine hours. So, uh, third place with 112 and a quarter inches, Mr. Tim Peppers. Tell us a little bit about how you did it, sir. Rough, rough. Uh, I basically caught my fish trying to survive, just paddled as hard as I could a lot of time, and got bites. But uh, other than that, it was more of an Ironman competition than it was a fishing tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, it was, it was great. I mean, we got to meet all the guys. I just wish the weather was better. Other than that, it was just good for another fish to us. So it was a little bit of a tough time out there as you'll hear from all these guys um, some of us barely caught if we caught Rolling, in <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still nonetheless a good time great place to be and uh, I turned the leaderboard off last night at 1030 just to build a little suspense and at that point in time I didn't know who was gonna win it was a pretty close race when I woke up this morning I was like Oh, okay. So your first TCKA national champion with a total of 247 and a quarter inches, Justin Johnson. Raise my arm in victory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with 196 inches, Jesse takes second place. Jesse, how'd you get them fish? Uh, just slow drag, running drifting sticks. I sit over in nine foot of water most of the day, fighting wind, soaking wet. Pretty much everything come off slow drags. Caught two off anchor late in the evening. Just dragging, dragging bait around. That's it. Well, it was good enough to send you home with three hundred three dollars and seventy cents for your second place finish. Congratulations, sir. Thanks, sir. All right, Justin, you gonna give up any secrets for us? Oh, uh, I, I film everything. There ain't no secrets for me. <laughs> but yesterday was, well, this whole four days I've fished out here has been a grind. The first two practice days I was out here, I caught one fish. I came out here thinking I was gonna fish how I fish at home and just do my thing, deep water structure, and make it work out here. And uh, like Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. I got punched in the face the first two days. I said, I got to change my ways. So uh, I've had numerous people on YouTube reaching out and offering support and offering me up. And, and one fellow, Brandon Jackson, he hooked me up with some bait on the way over here. He said, man, go fish this spot. And so I said, listen, I'm going to burn that spot to the ground with this YouTube video. Think it over. And he said, no, I want you to go fish it. So I did. And I caught all them fish out of five feet of water, all but one of them. Even with the cold front coming through, them fish had went a mile or more through shallow water to get back there and I spent all my time and on Friday when the wind was kicking you know 15 miles an hour or 25 mile an hour gust I sat right there I took advantage of our shore fishing rule as long as you use your kayak to get to the place that you're accessing I parked my kayak on the bank and I use that wind to the advantage I let that wind blow in on me stack up the bait right there and I caught fish and uh, got them on white perch white perch and yesterday I got a couple bluegill but Yesterday was tough. I spent 17 hours on the water yesterday, and I got my last fish around 10:45 last night. And uh, this guy right here, he got his uh, limit early in the day, and I, I saw that, and I was like, I'm screwed. I'm going from hero to zero <laughs> overnight because I didn't get my first bite till like 2:30. And so, uh, yeah, it was a rough day, but got done in. I'm, I'm convinced there ain't no small fish out here. I caught eight fish this week, and every one of the smallest one was 38 inches. So. Uh, they ain't no small fish out there. They ain't breeding. It's just all whoppers. <laughs> Speaking of that, the day two big fish, that went to Van Hughes with a 42-inch baddie that we caught, where we had yesterday. I had to help him get the picture together. Uh, but the day one big fish, and big fish overall, you want to tell everybody how big it was? 45 and a quarter, I believe it was. That is a hog. It that was good. That is a hog. It that was a fish one. right there was enough to give you an extra $344 Heck yeah. on top of the $708.60 for your first place finish, wow. bringing you to a total of $1,052.62 or 60 cents and a new 
Frontier 12 from New Canoe. So, uh, pretty good haul in there. That's know, a pretty good haul for about a $2,500 fishing. Yeah. Trip. I mean, that's worthwhile to fish these things, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> well, congratulations. Hey, thank you, Ron. I appreciate you doing all this. I know you took a lot of grief from me this year, but this guy right here, man, he's been a trooper. He's <laughs> stayed calm. I can be very abrasive and difficult to get along with, but he showed a lot of patience with me and put the time in on this thing. Most guys would have done quit by now, and he has stuck it out, and uh, I'm really appreciative of him. Well, let me so. tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing. There's two reasons that I tournament fish. One is all these guys standing around me. I didn't just meet a bunch of cool guys. I've made some really great friends this weekend. These are an excellent bunch of guys. You couldn't ask for better people. Everybody was down to help each other. We all worked through this hard weather. We all made sure everybody stayed safe. These are the type of people you want in your life, I promise you that. And that's the biggest reason that I do what I do because I love this type of community. I love being around other anglers. And the other reason that I started this is because I learned from my bass fishing tournaments that tournaments make me a better angler. It's not so much about me competing against you or you or you. It's about me bettering myself. And I know that going up against the best guys in the nation is going to drive me to do better and get better. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And if you're thinking about it, think no more. Get out here and get it done. You will be a better, better angler for it. It might not show on tournament day, as I found out this weekend, <laughs> but you learn from every step of it. And uh, let's see. First and foremost, I've got to thank God for keeping all of us safe. This Amen, weekend bro. could have been bad. Amen. It really could have been. But Lord Almighty kept us all safe, and God willing, we'll all make it back to our families later on today. And this is one for the history books. This is the first ever of its kind, but not the last. I promise you that.